What is aura in the human body? Does it affect humans, in some way? Please like, and share, and subscribe. In scientific research we have found, that the aura is electromagnetic field, of energy that extends, all around our body, for about 4 till 5 feet, in an average healthy body, and appears to be depleted, in cases of unhealthy person. The aura of a person, is directly connected, to the level of health, of the person. A person is considered, to be healthy in terms, of physical vitality, mental clarity, emotional well-being as well as highly positive spiritual energies so a person who is healthy at all these levels has a bigger and brighter aura and vice versa in the case of an unhealthy person if we study our ancient Indian texts especially the Yoga Sutras we will come to know the subtle anatomy of our human chakra system which is actually a very important aspect, of our aura. Spiritually we can say that aura is our very own soul nature, it reflects, our innermost desires, and feelings, emotions, etc. Aura is the layer of energy, which interconnects all other subtle bodies, and also acts, like a shield covering, and protecting, our more refined subtle bodies, like the mental, emotional, and spiritual and astral bodies. Like for our physical body, to survive and maintain its health, oxygen plays a vital role, for our existence. Similarly the pranic forces, which are commonly called, prana is the subtle energy, that is required by our more refined bodies, to function, and maintain a good health. So if we want our bodies, to absorb oxygen properly from the environment, we should keep our lungs healthy, thereby keeping our physical body healthy, similarly if we want our subtle bodies, to function properly, and to absorb the pranic energies properly, we need to keep our aura healthy. Like for our physical bodies, we do regular exercises, to keep it healthy, and working. We should also, practice some form of energy exercise, which regulates the proper flow, of pranic energies, in our subtle bodies. Chakra, and Dora, how can I believe, that they exist? Did they affect on human body, or human body affects them? There is no scientific evidence, for their existence, furthermore, there is no physics basis to think, that such things exist. Cells in the body, do produce electromagnetic fields, bioelectromagnetics, but they are very weak, and random, and currently are not used even, for diagnoses. The idea that they could be detected, or manipulated by another human, is simply preposterous. We don't have any sensory organs, for detection of such fields, and we don't have the ability to control, the electrical potential, of our why is our aura, important, as a body within a soul? Your aura can be seen, around your body, with a trained eye yet, it is your life force to a degree, so your body is technically, within your soul, although we do say it. The other way round, that aura energy, moves on a journey, from one body to another, through many lifetimes, and what happens in each one leaves, an experience in your energy. This happens on all levels, in all planes, so it's not only physically affecting you. People who scan, and read the aura, can look at this stored information, and tell you how that can affect your health, in a psychic, or a spiritual sense. All the vibrations in your energy, give out a reading. If you know how to, you can read, from that aura a great deal of data, about the physical wellness, or illness of the person, in both a psychic sense, and spiritual sense. Since about 1939, auras have been photographed, using a Kerlin camera, giving more proof, to their existence. 
proof that every living thing, has its own aura, or vibration which is moving, and pulsating, and hence changing. How can it help me? By working on your aura, your chakras, energy centers, and clearing your energy, you will find the negativity, you hold on to will become less, and less, and this will move you forward, on your inner, and outer journeys. Your outer journey is your physical, physiological journey, and what you do on this planet. Your inner journeys, are more linked to your feelings, thoughts, and on inner planes, of consciousness involving spiritual growth, and understanding. The study of your aura, and yourself as a body, within a soul is an interesting one, and perhaps one of the hardest. It involves us being honest, with ourselves, and calling ourselves, out when we know we are progressing, in a negative way. It is perhaps one of the hardest things, we will ever do, and also the most rewarding, helping us reach the heights, of our spiritual journey. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, and share, and subscribe.